Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Thursday, February 20th, 2020. Oh my goodness. I'm looking at the um, the date here on my screen, and it's 2-20-2020. That's a 2-2-2 two, two, two day. Two, wow. <laughs> and I caught that at 22 seconds on the counter. That's awesome. Okay, but keep, please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is, this is a reading dated for the 20th, it doesn't necessarily mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that is the message for you in that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading, yes? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So before I get into the pre-shuffle energies, I just want to mention um, I am planning on going live today. And actually, with this new structure that I'm kind of developing for my readings here, I'm thinking that this month I want to try and do the monthly Zodiac readings live. Yes, which I think is going to be really fun. Um, and I'm I'm looking to start that today. And... Because because we're in Pisces season, I will be starting with Pisces. So all my Pisceans out there, stay tuned throughout the day. I am going to be going live at some point during the day. I'm not exactly sure when, at what time, but it's probably going to be sometime around like this afternoon, maybe around two or two o'clock ish Eastern time. Also, um, I think I'm going to do happy hour tonight. I'm planning on it. It just depends on how um the day goes so um you know i'm gonna be i have some things to do some things to handle and then i'll be trying i'll be doing the live session for the monthly zodiac reading for pisces um and then most likely i'll be going live for happy on happy hour later on tonight yeah so just stay tuned um i gotta i gotta flow with it see how my day goes and everything like that um oh also you will find a card up here here <laughs> at the top right of your screen uh, for the uh, reading that I did for Pisces season. Yes. So that is, um, it is a general reading. It's for everyone. It's not necessary. It's not for the zodiac sign of Pisces, but it's for this period of Pisces season um, that we are currently in the middle of. Yeah. It started on the 18th two days ago, and it goes until the about the 20th of March. And so that's just a general energy reading. We talk about the general energies and the general themes for the, the season. And then we talk about love. We bring forward love messages for the season. Yes. So um, check that out if you haven't done so already. It was a really great reading. I, I loved doing it, and I am definitely going to be doing more of those um, seasonal, like sign season readings. Yeah. Okie dokie. So let's get into the uh, pre-shuffle energies here. So what I have for the collective right now is the Ace of Pentacles. Now the Ace of Pentacles did come out yesterday, I believe. Um, or maybe it was m uh, Tuesday or Monday. I'm not exactly, I'm not exactly sure. But it was this side of the, pen of the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, with this card, I just feel like there's something very, very new. I'm hearing it's on the horizon. I'm also kind of getting a feeling like it's kind of budding. It's almost as if the way this is this is positioned, or at least the way this hand is positioned, um, you know, with the pentacle above it, it, I just get, I'm getting an image of something kind of like freshly starting to emerge from the ground. Um, and for some of you, what I'm hearing is this is a, like a new point of view um, a new position in the matter, um, a new start, a fresh new start. Now you have overall energy of the hermit with the six of wands on the other side of the deck. This six of wands is giving me an energy of like, this is whatever is emerging for you, whatever is new for you in your life is, it's been a hard won battle. Like it's been rough getting to this point. And it, this point is in reference to um, a state of being internally, some sort of new understanding. Um, this is the hermit, right? But So this could potentially speak to Virgo energy. Hi, Virgo. Um, but what I just heard is this new point of view stems from the assurance that you have of yourself. 
And this, this was a hard won victory, okay? There's like a sense of inner stability, inner grounding, inner fortitude. That's creating something new for you. This Ace of Pentacles, I, I just, I feel like, I, I, well, I heard it's a brand new start um, to a challenging circumstance. And it's slowly emerging. Like, I don't even really feel like it's completely breached the soil. So, like, let's say this is this Ace of Pentacles could represent a seed that's been planted, right? Um, and the seed has been growing, but it's just, it's, it's like, in some cases, maybe it has just breached the soil and it's starting to grow. For others of you, I feel like it's about to. It's, it's almost there. Like, it, it's something so brand new. You may not even really recognize what it is yet. And I wish I could give you more on that, but I mean, why would, I'm hearing spirit say, why would we tell you what this is when it's not even like fully developed yet? When you, you know, so I just get the sense that um, you, maybe you do know what this is. Maybe you have an idea of what this is. Maybe you've been working towards this, or maybe this is something just like brand new, something that potentially could be coming out of nowhere, something that you don't expect something that you don't see coming, something that you didn't expect to happen, something that you didn't expect to grow from whatever it is you've been working on. But I want to tell you, I, I actually want to tell you to keep an open mind. I, I will say, though, with this hermit energy here, with the amount of internal work you've been doing, keeping an open mind isn't the hardest thing for you to do. That's kind of what I feel with this. Um, yeah. Yeah, but the Six of Wands energy is really giving me a, a feeling of being, like, battered and bruised. And I'm hearing a hard-won victory. But it's an internal victory. Because I just heard it's a victory of the self. And then there's also the Hermit here, okay? Which is about in the your internal realms, um, going within, finding your inner light, letting your inner light shine. Also walking a solitary path. Uh, you may feel like you're going it alone. You may feel like you are the only one dealing with something or with this type of circumstance. And okay, so maybe your circumstances are pretty are, are fairly unique to you. Okay, but that doesn't mean that you know there aren't other people out in the world that are potentially facing something just as challenging. It just may be challenging in different ways. Everybody has their own set of challenges that they are that they have chosen to overcome in their lives, right? Okay, cool. A fresh new start, a new beginning. That's what I'm hearing. All right, guys. So let me reset here. And let's see what else we have for your Thursday, yeah? All righty, here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Thursday, February 20th, 2020. Thank you so much, spirit. All right, guys, I'm going to give this three shuffles, and then we'll see what we've got. Oh. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> One last shuffle. All right. Here we go, guys. Let's see what else we have. What do you want to discuss with us today, please, spirit? For the collective. For the collective here. Ooh, okay. They're saying just one more, just one more shuffle, okay. Last shuffle here. For the collective. Whoa, ooh, that's too many. <laughs> Last shuffle. Oh, okay. All right, 
So we have the Six of Cups overall with the Four of Cups. Okay, I'm going to be honest. Seeing this Four of Cups here, um, I am picking up on a missed opportunity, and I am hearing a ship has sailed. And this could very well be... This could very well be associated with the Ace of Pentacles that came out in the beginning where there's like a brand new start, brand new start, a new phase, a new beginning, a new path and circumstances. All right. You do have the Six of Cups here. The Six of Cups can talk about soulmates, past relationships, past partnerships, past um, circumstances. There has been a lot of talk lately um, with both within the collective and on my channel here about doing some inner child work so um what you're embarking on or what you're starting new could direct be a direct result of that inner child work there could be a oh wow okay so especially with um the six of uh the six of cups in this this side of the card you see um a, a gentleman my camera's not focusing too well but you see there's a gentleman standing on that balcony out looking outside um and in some cases, you know, this could represent, you know, it's time to, it's time to get back to reality. It's time to come out of dreamland and, you know, go back home and, you know, get back to your life, you know, get back to the everyday. Um, I'm also kind of seeing an energy of having left home <laughs> with the Four of Cups here. Because you have this ship sailing, right? And um, and and just you know, with this depiction of the Six of Cups, it's like there's an energy of having leave, left home. Maybe you just moved out of your family home. Maybe I don't know. Maybe you're going off to college soon, or you have a child that's going off to college soon, or you know, you just have a child that's moving out, or maybe you maybe this isn't like family. Maybe this is a roommate situation, and you're moving out. You're moving on somewhere else. I don't know. Um. But now, in relation to that Ace of Pentacles that came out in the beginning, there is definitely an energy of leaving the past behind. There's some sort of circumstance that is being closed out here. You do have the Ten of Swords, okay? Um, there's a situation that's being closed out, and it could be starting anew. It could be starting fresh, or there could be something completely new off on the horizon that is completely separate from this situation that you're moving away from but i do see with this ace of i'm sorry the eight of pentacles here and the ten of swords there is a lot of work that you are currently doing or continuing to do or maybe you're looking to do to bring something to completion to bring some sort of painful circumstance to the end to an end i'm hearing some, like i'm hearing narcissism so you could be doing work to rid yourself of narcissistic energies uh, both within you or around you or like with in terms of like the, the energies within you you could be doing some work to change some sort of some sort of narcissistic tendencies within yourself okay now with that said we also have the nine of wands upright with the seven of wands reversed okay there is an energy of needing to surrender somehow here something you may have been really adamant about something you may have been really guarded about something you may have been um stubbornly fighting for something that isn't quite working out in the way that you wanted it to maybe even the way that you ex had expected um but what i'm getting at, what i'm getting with the seven of wands in reverse and the nine of wands upright is an energy of spirit kind of coming to you and saying please let down your guard and let us help you because there is something better. You just don't know what it is yet. But we need you to trust us. Now we're not give, we're not asking you to give up completely because the nine of wands is an energy of perseverance and resilience. It's just that there there's a change of focus, I believe, that's coming forward here. Maybe even a change of perspective. I keep hearing new opportunities. And some of you, I mean, I kind of resonate with this energy. Some of you may have been, kind of, of course I resonate with this energy, but some of you may have been tirelessly, tirelessly working at something or working towards something 
in a similar way that you have always worked towards it, thinking that somehow it was going to change the situation. I mean, that is Einstein's definition of, of insanity, right? Working toward doing something the same way over and over again, expecting a different result. But you're not going to get that result that you seek. But here's the thing about this. Um, and this could be the very beginning of this new thing that's sprouting with the Ace of Pentacles. With all of the work that you've been doing here, Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, to bring something to a close, to complete something. You've also, maybe maybe this is something that you, unbeknownst to yourself consciously, but you've also been doing a hell of a lot of work within yourself in order to bring this to completion. Like I'm definitely getting a strong energy of internal work with the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. Um, and then with the Hermit that was in the, the, the overall energy, it's like there's a, there's a new... Either there's a new form, a new sense of enlightenment that's coming through for you here, or a new sense of internal awareness that is allowing you to make some sort of change, that is allowing you to let your guard down and really, really let the angels or your guides or the universe, whomever, or God specifically, whomever you identify with or whomever you pray to, whomever you ask for help. There is definitely an, a potential to surrender in some sort of way and enter into this cave like with the nine of wands as almost a cocoon or a transformational phase okay okay again yes six of cups can represent soulmates I'm also kind of getting an energy of like, no more training wheels, in a sense. Interesting, okay, so let's get some clarification here, yeah? Let's look at the Eight of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords. Let's just go a little bit deeper here. <clears throat> Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. One more shuffle, and then let's get a deeper look at these energies here for you. Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. All right. Let's look at this. Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. We have the Three of Cups with the Knight of Cups. Okay. All right. Overall energy is the Eight of Swords. So, interesting. All right, so what I'm seeing in the Eight of Pentacles and the, and the Ten of Swords here, clarified by the Knight of Cups and the Three of Cups, what I'm seeing for this energy is this is what you've been working tirelessly towards that needs to come to an end. Because ultimately, it's a painful situation, and it's not really getting you where you want to go. It may even, for some of you, it may, what you've been working towards, or specifically, I guess, how you've been working towards it, may be kind of making the situation a little worse, whether that is worse overall or worse for yourself, just, you know, internally. We have the Knight of Cups with the Three of Cups. And I'm going to be quite honest, I'm getting a bit of a selfish energy with this Knight of Cups this time. Um, very emotionally manipulative, someone that's really just in it for their own pleasure and their own satisfaction, um, especially with this Three of Cups here. Now, I, I, I am picking up that there really is much substance. <laughs> if there is any sort of substance at all, it's really not much. But this individual that is represented by this Knight of Cups here, either this is you or maybe this is someone else that you're connected to, this individual isn't looking for substance here. They're looking for a good time. They're looking for... What are they looking for? What's the word I'm looking for? They're looking for... It, it, it's ego-driven. And what I'm getting with this Knight of Cups is even though there might be an energy in which someone is being really flirty or like, you know, showing affection, whatnot, whatever, it's, it's, um, it's vapid. It's, uh, 
there's no real truth behind it. There's no real intent to follow through behind it. Again, this is just for satisfaction purposes. And what I'm seeing here is, good Lord, <laughs> it's really scary sometimes when, you know, as a reader, you resonate with this. <laughs> But anyway, um, I, what I'm seeing here is like maybe you've been working towards mm, well, no, I'm sorry, the eight of because oh, because now my attention is being drawn to the eight of swords. Um, and I guess what I'm getting with the eight of swords is you might feel like this was the only way that you could maybe connect with someone or associate with someone or the way you could get something done, but it isn't with that eight of swords. The eight of swords is asking you to free your mind, to open up to other possibilities of something working out in a certain, uh, working out in your favor. Maybe I want to get a little bit more on this here. Tell us a little bit more, please, Spirit, of the Knight of Cups and the Three of Cups. A little bit more on this, please. Two of Wands. And there's that Eight of Swords again. Okay. Um, and now, okay, for some of you, you're at a crossroads here. Yeah, with the Eight of Cups. Yep, that's exactly what I was thinking. Some of you were at a cro are at a crossroads here, and you're wondering if you should let go altogether or if you should just change your approach. But again, whatever you've been working towards here, it's not, it hasn't developed in the way that you desired it to. But quite frankly, I don't think it was really meant to develop in that way. There is something that needs to be left behind here. A way that I'm hearing, the strongest thing I'm hearing is a way of approaching the situation. It's like almost like a back to the drawing board energy. Okay, I do one more shuffle from this. Okay, I do. I mean, I want to. I I want to go deeper into this, but I also kind of feel like I want to get um, advice on this here. But spirit is saying to go to do one more shuffle over this to see what else we get, and then I'll and then we'll, and then I'll clarify this side, and then we'll get the advice. So, what one last thing? What else did you want to tell us about this spirit? Oh man. I'm going to stop there. Okay, we have the Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. The Seven of Cups is just talking about confusion. It's talking about kind of the chaos of the, the universe, um, the chaotic energies, or the ability for the universe to bring you something in a plethora of ways. And some of you are really freaking out about that. It's like, it's almost as if you can't, you feel like you can't handle the infinite nature of how things are going to go. It feels like you are much more, you feel much more comfortable having a plan of action and, 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 and it developing in that way, but it's not always going to develop that way, okay? You do have the Magician with Temperance and the Six of Swords, and then you have the Ten of Cups with the Ace of Swords, all right? So for some of you, there is clarity in terms of what would be a really fulfilling relationship. Okay, now keep in mind, the Eight of Cups was, in, was at the bottom of the deck before, and now we are coming to the Ten of Cups with the Ace of Swords. So it's almost as if you were becoming clearer on what it is exactly would be emotionally fulfilling for you, um, which is could potentially lead you to move, to walk away, or leave some sort of circumstance or situation behind with the Six of Swords here. In great, in terms of greater balance, greater temperance, greater harmony within the self, or maybe even the situation, and the Magician. Now, the Magician also representing um, your ability to manifest. You are, in fact, manifesting something. Don't ever think that you're not, because you definitely are. It's just that things aren't clear right now, Seven of Cups, things aren't developing maybe in the way that you would liked or would you would have hoped. Okay. But the sense that I'm getting, and I'm gonna I'm being completely honest with you guys, the sense that I'm getting with the Six of Swords, Temperance, and the Magician is you just have to move forward. You just have to let go of your control of the circumstances and continue to hold your alignment with what it is that you know you want out of life. Ace of Swords, Ten of Cups. There's just some there's what I'm hearing here specifically is the method needs to be changed. 
the approach needs to be changed, how you're going about it, how you're pursuing something. It could even be that your perspective needs to change, okay? But with that perspective change would come a method change, right? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go back to this. I'm gonna come back to this and I wanna get, I'm gonna get specific guidance um, from the Golden Universal Tarot. I'm gonna get um, advice on, you know, how to handle, you know? Mm, sorry, anyway, um, so, but, but, but first, let's look deeper into the Nine of Wands with the seven of wands in reverse the nine of wands is upright the seven of wands is in reverse here seven of wands is in reverse here with the nine of wands upright okay so what can you tell us about this spirit i i feel like there is a need to rest and recuperate there is a need to let down your walls let down your defenses and i i'm going to be honest with you this the defenses that i feel here are internal it's almost as if you're blocking off the guidance from the universe or the flow from the universe or you know the pull some it, it feels like you're resisting what the angels your guides your higher self may be telling you or trying to yep there it is right there. Oh my God, the two of swords. <laughs> this is literally what I was just saying. The two of swords. This is indecision. This is denial. It's like the situation has come to an end here to some way. We have the 10 of swords again. The situation has come to an end in some way and yet you're in denial about it. What I'm hearing is you don't want to see that it's truly over. Look at that. There's the seven of wands again. No, I don't want to believe it. No, this can't be over. It can't possibly be over. That's what I'm hearing. Let's go a little deeper. Now, what? Well, what I'm hearing also is that the circumstances are changing. It may not be that the situation is completely over, but I, I would I would advise you to be as open-minded as possible, okay, to, to be open to all possibilities. But in being open to all possibilities, there's a chance that, yeah, the situation is 100% completely over and you need to move on fully, or you need to move on and from the way that you've been approaching the situation and try a new approach that that's that's the main thing that's coming up with this message here not necessarily that it's completely 100 percent over it's that a new phase is starting a new approach is needed three of wands this is all part of your path. You are on. You are still on the right path. You, I mean, you're still you still on the path you've been on all along. It's just eight of pentacles. The three of wands with the eight of pentacles is giving me an energy of wanting to say not to not to give up to keep working towards your goal this is your goal here i can feel that this is your goal ace of swords ten of cups this is your goal ultimate wish fulfillment ultimate happiness in love family relationships or emotional fulfillment this could this could very well be like a career of choice something like that this is your ultimate goal and for some of you, you're denying the wisdom that you've come to here. I just, your approach, need, I think that's what I'm going to title this reading. It's just about your approach. Your approach needs to change. Why is this Eight of Pentacles here?
hanged man. Change in perspective with judgment. I just heard you're being called to try something new. Okay. And the hanged man is definitely is a change in perspective, is enlightenment, is seeing something from a different point of view. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's all a good thing, though. Don't get me wrong. So... Now, I want to switch over, and I want to go back to this, and I just want to get some advice with dealing with this here, all right? All right, Spirit, so what advice do you have for us in dealing with this situation? You know what? I should just do it over all of this, because it's all part of the same message. It's all part of the same story, so... One more shuffle here. What advice? What advice do we have here for us? Page of Cups with something else. Page of Cups with the Five of Cups. Okay. Oh, look, there's that Knight of Cups again. Yeah, so all is not lost, for sure. Um, although you are dealing with some sort of grief for the ending of a cycle, okay. That's fine. But what I'm getting with the Page of Cups is that you really need to... Uh, what's What's necessary here is a need to explore your emotions. That's what I'm, that's, that's, Knight of Cups is at the bottom of the deck here. Let's get some more. Advice, please, spirit. There's the Eight of Swords again with the Ten of Wands. And the moon. Okay, so things are not as they seem, period. But the fact of the matter is, regardless of whatever, it, you know, whatever illusion may be around you, whatever fears you may be facing, the fact of the matter is you're carrying too much. There are too many burdens here. And it's like you refuse to, ref to f release yourself, to free yourself from these burdens. It, it could be a situation in which you are feeling like there's only one way or only a certain way that something could happen. And again, that's limiting. And that's the energy of the, the Eight of Swords, even the Ten of Wands, because with the Ten of Wands, you know, you're carrying so much that your, your mobility is limited. With the Eight of Swords, you're surrounded, you're like trapped in a mental prison. Limitation. I just want to get one more poll. I just want to see... Uh, what what advice do we have, Spirit, for the Eight of Swords? Free yourself is what I just heard. <laughs> free yourself from the fuckery. Free yourself from the tomfoolery. Free yourself from the projections and the illusions. Nine of Wands. With the Knight of Pentacles. Interest. Oh, jeez. And the Lovers. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Um, perseverance is key here. Don't give up. Knight of Pentacles, slowly but surely moving forward. Steps are going to need to be taken, but I don't think you, from this point of view right now, you don't see what those steps are because you're still holding on to the path from the past. Whereas now, like we've been saying all, all throughout this reading, there's a change in approach that's needed here, okay? Um,
also what I was picking up with the Five of Cups and the Page of Cups here. Um, there is a sense of innocence. I, Spirit is asking you to, even though you know, um, it, okay, even though you might have this sorrow, this this guilt, this shame, this remorse, this, re this regret, just you know, feeling down in the dumps in association with something that could be represented by a Three of Cups energy, whether that be external situations, third-party situations, social scenes, whatnot, whatever, there are still two cups standing here in the background, again, that you probably just don't see. So Spirit is kind of asking you to remain in your sense of innocence, in your sense of childlike wonder, in your sense of expecting things to work out for you in terms of what it is you truly desire what is your heart's desire it's like i'm getting an energy of even though you might be in this situation where you're you're faced with a five of cups energy again regret remorse shame guilt sorrow mourning for something that has been lost or perceived to have been lost spirit is asking you to remain in your childlike sense of wonder because everything will work out in the end exactly as it's supposed to okay you just got to have faith and believe in it and cut yourself free of any sort of external influences potentially or burdens or uh, limitations with the eight of swords and the ten of wands and the limitations here could very well be um in, within your own mind of thinking that something can only happen a certain way and that's entirely not the case There are infinite possibilities that the universe can work things out for you. You just have to persevere. Don't give up. But yes, change your approach. Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Knight of Pentacles is talking about slowly but surely moving forward. Now with the lover's card at the, at the overall energy here, yeah, we could be talking about a relationship. We could be talking about a union, soulmates, counterparts, any of that stuff. But also, the lovers is about a choice. It represents a choice, and in my opinion, as a reader, it can represent a choice between vice or virtue. Vice being what everyone else wants here. Or, in this case specifically, vice could be your ego. Deciding to listen to what your ego has to say about it instead of what your higher self or your intuition or God and the angels What they have to say about it and that per perspective could be that of virtue Trusting your intuition trusting the guidance that you're given trusting your heart trusting you, you know your gut your angels your guides All that kind of stuff Also, what I'm getting with this lover's energy here is a need to focus completely on aligning with whatever is for your highest good and releasing anything that does not fit into that, regardless of what it is. And that absolutely could be the change in approach here that you are needing. So let's say we're talking about, since it's the lovers here, let's say we're talking about love and a relationship. And you've been going about pursuing this relationship in a way that isn't necessarily going to really get you what you are looking for or asking for. It might be a situation in which you kind of might be barking up the wrong tree <laughs> in, a certain, in a certain way, right? Um, what you, what would the change in approach here that could be needed is that you need to, instead of focusing on what you can do to make this relationship work or to make something, something materialize or manifest or whatnot with this magician energy, right? That came out here. What you really need to do is realign with your higher self, realign with what it is that is in like vow to just stay in alignment with that which is your highest that will serve your highest good and open and remain open to signs symbols synchronicities and instructions on how to move forward with that alignment and this is not necessarily to say that this alignment is just to 
facilitate this certain relationship or this certain uh, job opportunity or whatever this is for you, but it is to facilitate whatever is meant for your highest good to come through. And keep in mind that the universe has a much greater, much better view of this than we do here in three-dimensional consciousness in our limited point of view. Okay. All right, let's move to the Oracle section to close out this reading and I'm going to get it from our Gaia Oracle today. So let's just see. One last shuffle. Okie dokie, here we go. Oracle Guidance. Okay, we have card number two. Moonlight Goddess, Repressed Emotions, Healing, Reflection. Mm -hmm. The Moonlight Angel, depicted on this card, is here to reflect back to you the repressed emotions you have stored inside you. She is here to heal you through your dreams. Be, but in order for this healing to take place, you must pour out your heart and express how you truly feel. Do this for yourself and for others. Remember all, remember, all that you repress not only affects you, but it also affects those around you, especially those you love the most. It is safe to acknowledge your feelings. It is all right to cry. Just surrender and let it all go. You are surrounded by love and healing energies of the goddess. You are eternally loved and eternally protected. In the coming month, you will reflect on the past. You will give thanks and let go of old hurts and disappointments. Only the loving memories you will keep inside, only the loving memories you will keep inside your heart. Then. Once the chambers of your heart are yet again full of light, a new season begins, a new journey, a new joy, a new passion. Your affirmation is, I give thanks for the healing that is taking place now in my life. I express all I feel honestly and lovingly without fear or apprehension. I am safe. I am loved. I am one with the goddess. I am one with the earth and all creation. Let's say that again. I give thanks for the healing that is taking place now in my life. I express all I feel honestly and lovingly without fear or apprehension. I am safe. I am loved. I am one with the goddess. I am one with the earth and all creation. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, um, Keep in mind that I am going live today. I'm going to be doing at least the reading, the monthly reading for Pisces. Um, and then I'm most likely going to be doing happy hour tonight, but stay tuned for that, yeah? With that said though, I love you guys so very much and I hope you have a fantastic day and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning, yeah? Take care. Mwah. Bye.